In this video, we are going to look at how to pull up network information using Mac. The information is pretty much the same, but it's a little different the way we execute it in a Mac. So just pay attention and follow what's been done in this video. Now, the first thing you have to do is pull up the command prompt. Unfortunately, in Mac, the command prompt is not called as command prompt, so you cannot follow the standard procedure for Windows to pull up the command prompt. Instead, in Mac, it's called a terminal. And to get to your terminal, you can pull it up by going into your Go menu, and you'll see utilities there. Click that, and you'll see a lot of options here, and one of them is terminal. A terminal is the command prompt for your Mac. And that's where we will be able to pull up the network information. The first thing we need to do to pull up network information on Mac is to see what's going on. So we're just going to try to pull up as much information as we can. The command for that that we will be using today is called ifconfig, I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G. It's a short form for interface configuration, space, hyphen A. Hyphen A stands for pull up all the information for the interface configurations that are running on this system. Click enter and you will see humongous amount of information. Most of it is not relevant for, for this class. The information you're looking at on the left hand side, these are all the adapters that are running on the system. They are running at different levels, they are providing different services, but we are only concerned with our network adapter, which is our network card, and its communication with the internet router. Usually, the code that is used in Mac, or the adapter, uh, that is used in Mac is either EN0 or EN1. Now I can see from EN0 is most populated and it has all the relevant information. So what I'll do is I'll run another command to get rid of all this information that is not relevant and just to pull up my network card or network adapter information. So let me type clear to get rid of all the information and just to pull up my, that relevant information the command I'm going to type in is the same if config space and the adapter name was EN0 and there you have it the naming convention is a little different in Mac as compared to a PC or a Windows based machine but the information is pretty much the same so a Mac address or a physical address that is that we see in a Windows is called Ethernet or Ether in Mac and it's right here if you go down a little bit INET 6 is IPv6 or IP address protocol uh, version 6. This is another IP configuration that we talked about in class that computers use for their internet protocol. Right underneath INET is the IP address of your computer that is used that your computer is using to communicate to the router. Netmask is a subnet mask configuration and broadcast is your default gateway or your router's IP address. At this point we have the three main pieces of information that we needed our MAC address, the IP address, and the default gateway. But we still don't know the dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP and the DNS information. To pull that up, I'm going to use another command, and that command is called ipconfig space get packet space en0. In this terminal, I'm asking the Mac to do is to capture one of the packets that is in route to my adapter EN0, which is the network card, and then open it up and show me all the information that it possesses. Hit enter, and you will see a lot of duplication between our previous command and the result of this command. And among all this information, I'm going to start from the top. And as you can see here, YI adder is the IP address and it's the same as the IP address that we pulled up previously. Two rows down is our MAC address. It's called Ethernet in our previous command, but here it has another name. If you go down a little bit, the rows I'm highlighting here consists of the DHCP server information or dynamic host configuration protocol information. And at the bottom right here, here is our DNS information. So there you have it. This is all about how to run 
command prompt in Mac.